All right, welcome back. It's Back to the Basics. I'm Sean Barr, and today we are talking IDS versus IPS. We're talking detection and prevention. Let's go! All right, we're back and we are talking IDS and IPS. So what is IDS and what is IPS? Well, IDS was kind of the origin, origination of what we call intrusion detection system. And historically they were signature based, meaning it would look for certain types of data, uh, data payloads, data packets, and it would watch all the traffic in the network that which it had visibility to and make decisions if this is good traffic or bad traffic. Then it would alert you through either a console, um, typically a console, or some other alerting mechanism like syslog or something like that, and to look at this traffic that it could be malicious. As you can imagine, an, a device on the network seeing hundreds, thousands, millions of packets, evaluating them and then sending alerts to a human to make an act, action on isn't very real time. So the next evolution of that was IPS, which is intrusion prevention system. So instead of just detecting and saying this looks bad, it would do its best to say this looks bad and I'm going to stop it. So it would make decisions based on signatures in real time to block traffic. The good side of this is that you're potentially blocking malicious traffic in your environment. The bad side is if it thought something was malicious that really wasn't, potentially you're causing a negative impact into your network environment. So things, applications may not be working. Um, so why would you use IDS or IPS? Well, maybe you're regulated by some agency. Maybe you want to have best in class security. So you enable these types of uh, tools to tell you more about what's happening through your network. So IDS or IPS, depending on which features you want to enable, I want to enable prevention or not, you have a device out there looking at the network, comparing that to signature data, and letting you know about the threats. So that's great. So where is this going? With, the, you know, with all of our technology around AI and machine learning, you know that this type of thing is going there as well. So companies like ExtraHop and Darktrace are working towards that. So they look at the network and they act, they make decisions based on deep learning as opposed to signature. So they say, what's normal? What's not normal? and make decisions about that. So it's a little bit more intelligent in the way that it reports issues and potentially can prevent threats. That's really it. IDS, IPS. IDS, we're detecting things on the network. We're looking at the packets the you know as they cross the wire. IPS, doing the same thing, but maybe adding a, a prevention step onto it. So if the traffic looks malicious, it's gonna stop it. Uh, and then we talked a little bit about where is it going? Well, machine learning, AI, adding those components that we call traffic analysis into it. So that's where we think it's going. If I said anything in this video that you say, hey, I'd love to know more about that, make sure you leave a comment. And if you liked it, hit the like button, subscribe. We'll see you on the next Back to the Basics. See you later.